This episode of Grammar TV. I'm Brad McGee. And I'm Sophie Campbell. This episode includes the second teacher feature for the year, a lunchtime soccer challenge, an interview with some of the Awada students and a rowing story. Let's get into it. I interviewed Mr Ellison. First I asked him how long he'd been teaching for. Ooh, I graduated in 1988, so I started teaching in 1989. He tells us that he is enjoying life at grammar, as well as how the students are treating him. Yeah, um, I do. I, I really love it. I've found the kids at grammar some of the friendliest and the happiest kids I've encountered. Mr Ellison also tells us that he teaches English at multiple levels, as well as a history class. Um, a few. Normally I only teach English, but here I teach English at grades 9 and 10. I also have two grade 9 history classes and I also have a grade 11 EALD class. Mr Ellison also tells us that he has been enjoying Tasmania and been coming down here for a few years now. Yeah, I love Tassie generally. I've actually had a house down here for a couple of years, so I used to come down on the Victorian school holidays. Decided I wanted to move to, Del um, to Tassie when I came across Deloraine. This has been Brad McGee interviewing Mr Ellison. It's great to see that the new teachers are settling and have chosen to live in this great state. Sure is. Some students from our sister school in Owada, Japan, come down to see how we work down here in Tassie. What surprised you most about Tasmania? Any animal? Yeah. Tasmania, they will uh, cute. I can't touch kangaroo. Wombat is very cute. <laughs> have you eaten any strange food? I ate cereal. What have you learnt about Australia? School is very big. Tasmania is in many, many nature. Nature is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> what is different about school here compared to Japan? Japanese school is too strict. What has been the most enjoyable part of your trip? Everything. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Thanks to the Iwata students for their time. Our next story comes from Josh and Brad, who did a crossbow challenge with some of the Year 10 boys. Lunchtime sport has become very popular here at Grammar recently, so Josh and I decided to have a crossbar challenge with the Grade 10 boys to test out their skills. To raise the stakes a little bit, we've decided to put $5 on the crossbar and whoever hits it wins it. Some of the lads have some good skills, others not so much. They sure do. Finally, we have a roaring story from Alec Poole. As much as we hate hearing them complain about training, they do work pretty hard. This year, the open boy rowers have been putting in a lot of hours and effort into their training with seven sessions a week. Three on water with Mark Ellis and John Hewitt, two gym and two ergo sessions with former Australian rowing champion, Luke Ellis. At the start of 2018, Mr Finch, the recently appointed Head of Sport, developed a new strength and conditioning program specifically for the Opens. The Open boys have seen the benefit from their new regime. We recently spoke with Mr Finch about what his sessions are about. Yeah, I think introducing weights to the, to the program, uh, we were working on a circuit uh, that lasts for about six and a half minutes. Uh, with a combination of lifting weights and some cardio exercises to really to work through that lactate threshold and, and their minds to know that they've got to row for six to six and a half minutes and they'll be able to, they've been in that zone, they've been in that, uh, that high, well past their lactate threshold for six and a half minutes. Uh, so bring, building mental toughness and also just building that strength through lifting weights. The Open boys have noticed the benefits on the race course and hope to continue their improvements. 
Thanks, Alec. Just a reminder that the school production starts tonight and there are still a few tickets left. To all those involved, we look forward to seeing your hard work come to life. That's all for this episode of Grammar TV. See you guys next episode. Ha, ha, ha.